I've always had hens. I've had them all my life since I was eight years of age. And back, I was at the building, and then when the building slowed up, I'm a bit of a workaholic, and I have to be always doing something. And my wife was listening to the radio one day, and she heard them talking about chickens and chicken coops. So she said to me, why don't you make a few chicken coops? So I went and made a couple of coops, and I sold them without any problem. And then I decided then I'd do some of the markets. And when I went to the markets with the coops, I said I'd bring a few hens with me to make it, you know, it draws people. Hens will always draw people to the market. And um, that, I didn't realise then that I'd be, selling, I'd be selling the hens. You know, I thought, right, I might sell a couple of hens with a coop. But there's a huge market out there for hens. And um, I wound up then just selling coops and selling hens. I'm, you know, I'm selling lots of hens. I'm selling far more hens now than I am coops. I, I, I don't know whether it's for eggs or not, but I think what's happened since the collapse of the economy and the whole lot and people are not going on three and four holidays a year anymore. Um, it's, it's the in thing now to have a few hens or have some sort of a pet. And you see, the people I sell mostly to would be couples with two or three children. And the children are looking for a dog or they're looking for, you know, they're looking, they're always looking for a pet or whatever. And if you go out and buy a pup, you'll pay 500 euros for a pup. You can buy a coop with three hens for roughly about 280 euros. So the children are happy because they have a hen each. Plus the fact you're getting your eggs, plus the fact the hens are not inside the house that's trying to house you, which the dog will do. And you have to take the dog for a walk where you don't take the hens for a walk. You know, so there's far less to keep in hens and you're getting a return on them. And it also, it's educating the children as well where the food is coming from. I do eight, specialise in eight different breeds of hens. First is the, the most common one, would be the hybrid Rhode Island Red. She comes from Monaghan, from um, Andrew O'Connell up in Monaghan. He breeds them and I buy them all from him. And all the other breeds I buy from Johnson's Hatcheries. The seven breeds I do, the Black Rock, the Marin, the Blue Bell, the Daisy Bell, the White Leghorn, the Brown Leghorn and the Marin. The Rhode Island red hen would be the best hen to lay. She will lay, the first year she will lay an egg nearly every day of the week. Second year she'll slow down. She will average over 300 eggs a year for the first two years. But after two years she slows up. You know, it's really the life of her is two years. What is? Where all the other breeds of hens are more like they're a farmyard board. Where they will lay an average of about 260 eggs a year. But they lay for up to five years. Now, the other seven breeds will also go broody. They will bring out chicks. The Rhode Island hen will never bring out chicks. She will never hatch because she's an industrial board. She is the board that goes to the factories where they're producing, you know, the hundreds of thousands of hens, in them, which I totally disagree with because I believe every hen should have a life. And if, if I feel, if I can sell somebody two or three hens, it's two or three hens less that's going to the factory. A hen's life in a, in a factory is 12 months. She goes in at about 18 to 20 weeks old and she lays for 50 weeks. The light's on 24 hours a day. She never sees a blade of green grass, ever. And after the 12 months is up then, she might miss a day or two laying. And that's not acceptable. So she's gone. She becomes cat food. She's never had any life. She's locked in a cage like a piece of paper, an A4 page of paper, that's about the amount of space she has all her life. That's all she knows. Uh, anyone that buys a hen, to me, it's an investment. The hen will lay up to 300 eggs a year, which is 25 dozen eggs, a 25 dozen eggs. At four euros a dozen, that's 100 euros that you're saving on your hen. Your hen will cost you about, about 17 euros a year to feed. So, you know, when you, when you look at it, you're saving 80 odd euros. But also what you have, the egg that you have from your hen is not the same, it, it is an egg. I wouldn't call what you buy in the supermarket an egg. They look like an egg, they do everything, but they don't taste like an egg. The egg that you get from your hen is, is the perfect egg. Because I was always at the building, I, I probably know a little bit about, you know, timber and things and doing things like that. And I decided to design my own coop. I, I, I see coops out there. I don't think they're practical myself. So I designed this, the coop that I have now. First of all, a chicken always likes to sleep high. They always want to be up high. So it's better that they're up off the ground. And it means, you know, that they're going up to the high, they're going up a ladder and they're going into the coop. But also they can go in under the coop. 
So if it's a wet day, they don't necessarily have to go into the coop itself, which normally if they're in the coop, they're messing it and they're dirtying it and so on. So it's better for you that they're, they just go in under it. And um, I find the far more practical, plus the fact that I have them that the floor of the coop, you can just pull it out and clean it out once a week. You can move them around every week, no problem. One person can move it on their own. Uh, but normally you would use two people, like I mean, when the hens would go in at night, um, there's a little lad, you could drop it down there and you close the hens in and you can move the run. And then the two years with the handles of the coop, you just move it, pull it up against the run and lift it back up and the hens are on a new piece of ground tomorrow morning. People underestimate themselves. They really do under, they, they, I mean, people are capable of doing an awful lot more than they think they can. And it's just a matter of getting the confidence to get out there and do it. I sell my hens in Mayo and Galway mostly, um, in the Marts, in Ballinrobe Mart, Ballina Mart, um, My Cullen Market, Mam Cross, Clare Galway Sunday Market. That's the, the markets I do every week, so I'm, I'm always out busy. But I love getting out and meeting the people because you can have great crack. You meet different types of people everywhere you go, and every day it brings something new. It's, it's just it's it's just nice meeting people. When you talk to them, they've never realised how easy it is to keep a few hands. They're no trouble to keep, no trouble whatsoever. I mean, I'll often come out in the evening time and I'll just look in at the hens and I'll be looking and if you ask me what I'm looking at, I couldn't tell you. I just, I'm just always fascinated by just looking at them. And um, I always like to think that every hen I'm selling, every hen I'm selling, I'm, it's, it's, it's a hen that's getting a good life.